What's up, beautiful people? Positive Gaming here, and welcome to the Positive Gaming Show, where positivity and gaming come together. This is your host, Positive Gaming, aka PG, aka PG13. And today we're gonna be playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I really like this game. This game is dope. But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about yourself. We're gonna be talking about your worth, and we're gonna be talking about like people treating you and doubting you and stuff like that we're, we're actually going to be talking about y you becoming the person you want to become let's get to it so what are you doing to become that person you want to become what are you doing to become the next big thing what are you doing to like to prove that person wrong what are you doing to to um show yourself that you're worth something what are you doing because if you want to prove, if not even prove, like you should not prove anyone, and like you should not prove nobody nothing. Like if they don't want to fuck with you, or they don't want, if they don't believe in you, or they don't want to like, like see you go far, then forget that person. But you should prove to yourself. Actually, that's better. You should prove to yourself that you're worth everything, because you was here for a reason. You was on this earth for a reason you started out for a reason you started your whole life over for a reason because this was meant for you to get on your mind your mindset set to focus on what you believe in. so imagine you want to become an author you want to become a book writer what are you doing to become a book writer are you writing like stories out are you like focusing on writing and English and spelling and stuff like that because you can't call yourself a writer if you never wrote a book me on the other hand I wrote some I wrote like three to four books no five books actually they never been like published where people can read them and I get paid for it no they've been published where people can read them for free on wetpad but at the same time yeah, I can call myself an author because I wrote books, you know. I read other people's stories, and I and I understand how to write a story, how to bring the audience in, how to connect with your readers, you know. But what are you doing to become the person you want to become in the future? Like you're saying, you want to become this and that and the third. But what are you doing to become that person? Are you are you saying that so you can? be motivated now and then later you're just doing it for the money it's not all about the money now yes the money can lead you to buy nice things for yourself it can help you pay rent and bills and stuff like that but at the same time you can't say oh I wanna be this but are you really doing it for you because you love to do it or you're doing it because you see other people doing it and you see how they get treated and they get paid and stuff like that like are you doing it because you have a passion for it or are you doing it because you want to have money fame and stuff like that like what are you doing it for you gotta like you gotta like there's a difference between passion and money doing something for a passion is because you love to do it because you love to do it doing it like and and money is you doing it for the money, the fame, or whatever? It's like you wanted to become an actor or an actress. Are you doing it because you love to act, or you love to be like known for your like good performance and stuff like that? And you just you just love to like do movies and stuff, or are you doing it because of the paycheck? You cannot let money mess up your mind. Now, yes, money can be nice. You can buy things for yourself. You can pay your bills. You can pay your rent. Yes, I get that. But do always have a passion for something you do. Because if you're not happy with the thing you're doing now, then you got to find it later. You got to find it. Because you cannot be stuck in a place where you're not happy. Because if you're not happy, how are you going to move forward with your life? You got to ask yourself that every single day. You know? And you got to stop letting people control you. You just have to lot you got to stop letting people like impact who you are. You have to stop. Because you can't please everyone. You really can't. 
You really cannot please anyone. You cannot please a lot of people we meet in this world. And the thing about the, and the thing about the life we live is that we try like people try to please people they hang out with. They try to keep the people they they want they have in their lives. And then like the people that leave or just doesn't like believe in them and stuff like that, they just keep on moving forward with that person. You cannot let that person tell you you gotta do you got you cannot let that person tell you oh you need to do this you need to do that blah blah this that, and the third no you cannot let that happen because if you do they're just gonna take control and, and like and are you really gonna be happy if someone takes control of your life no now here's a situation when it comes up to you as a person you have a group of friends right and they tell you you're never gonna make like you tell them your dreams right and they say you're crazy you're never gonna make it I don't believe in you you need to quit stuff like that right are are those really your friends like think about it if your friend really knows you they should know that you can do anything you put your mind to if someone says they don't believe in you okay don't cry about it because someone said it. Don't cry about it. Don't don't pout. Don't give up. Because if you're giving up every time someone says, "Oh, you're never going to make it." How are you going to like move? How are you going to like get to that level in your life where you do make it and then people are still going to doubt you over and over and over again? That's all a part of life. Life is going to punch you down. It's going to punch you, kick you down to the ground. It's going to probably have you stay there for a couple of hours. But it's your job. It's your job to get back up and to roll with the punches. To get back up and fight back. It's your job to prove life wrong. It's your job to do what you want to do. It is your job to do what you want to do. It's your job to tell those people that didn't believe in you that I did make it. You was wrong. And I was right. Never try to prove someone wrong. If they don't believe in you, they don't believe in you. Forget them. You don't need them. But at the end of the day, you always got to remember this. You are you. No one can tell you what you can or can't do. You have a dream, you go for it. If you have a goal, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. But this is your boy Positive Game, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. But until then, hope everyone has a positive d on weekend. And always remember, fuck the haters. They o There's always going to be haters in your life. But at the same time, always remember this. You live your life the way you want to live it. If no one wants to, the, no one wants to hang out with you, and no one wants to mess with you mess with you because you live the life you live your life the way you want to live it then that's okay you can't please everyone and always go for your dreams stop stop being lazy stop saying you're going to do it today you're going to do it tomorrow do it right now because if you don't do it now you're going to regret it for the rest of your life peace God and good riddance Find any clues yet? I don't see anyone. How hard is it? Look! We want uh. Let's see who's better! Get them!
easy on yourself. You're making this too easy. May Sharon take you to a better place than this. How does he move so fast? Huh? What's that noise? What? Huh? Uh. Uh. Where did that come from? Penelope Shroud, in the flesh. Uh, I mean cloth. Sammy, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. Alexius, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes. He's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. 
Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is the rope. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Phokis.